going on everyone? Movie Game Guy here. I'm back with another vlog for you guys. And so far today, nothing crazy has happened. Um, right now, I'm actually just cleaning up with some Q-tips, some uh, NES games, the ones I got yesterday, with some rubbing alcohol, because I like my games clean. These aren't like in horrible shape, but I still, I'm, I'm OCD with my stuff, so I like to clean it all before I put it in the collection. And, yeah. <coughs> Nothing else is really going on at the moment. I got some laundry I got to do. Danielle bounced out for work already. And, yeah. I'll let you guys know if anything cool happens. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Morgie's trying to sleep right now, but she's breathing like crazy hard. It just freaks me out. I love her so much. Like, with all my heart. I truly do. And I'm just worried sick. Keep you guys posted today, too, about her. Well, on a positive note, the girlies are happy, they're eating their food and enjoying life, and so are these little babies, which is good. I love you girls, and I'll see you in a little bit. I love you too, Morg. See you in a little while, baby girl. Okay, so I'm at the laundry mat right now. I got one minute left, and then my clothes are done washing. It's spinning out now, and then I'm gonna put them in a dryer for a little bit and yeah and then the laundry will be done danielle will be happy yep let you guys know what happens after that dave's supposed to be hanging out on his lunch break i don't know though but i'm sure he's going to be freaking out about the hoverboard so let you guys know those things happen okay so right now just chilling um fucking got a ton, ton of the turtles in bags I got more the smaller bags for the accessories, and then I got more um, like you know bags that I need bigger bags for the actual figures to fit in too. And I'm gonna start putting all of them in with their accessories, so that's gonna be fun. I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, everyone. So I'm back home right now. Um, finished the laundry that I had to do, which is good. Um. Now I'm getting back into putting all of my turtles in bags. It's a process, but I'm doing it. Honestly, I'm also thinking about moving all of this turtle stuff, if you guys can see it, if it's not dark. Um, vehicles, everything, into a box too. And just using that shelf for my uh, boxed systems. So like my PlayStation 1, my Xbox, my you know Telstar, Atari 2600, you know. The uh, Nintendo, you know, all that stuff. I'm thinking about putting up. <sighs> Sorry for yawning, I'm tired. Um, putting up on that shelf, so that's what I think I'm gonna be doing. So I'll let you guys know as it happens. Okay, everyone, because I'm moving all of my turtles out of the shelf, I figured I'd show you guys the last two rows of turtles that I have. Uh, just loose figures, and yeah, just gonna get right into this. So first up. Got it. Uh, the movie uh, three foot soldier. He's got two of his weapons too. Pretty damn cool. Um, Super Mikey. Pretty cool. Then one I love. I need to get more of these. The Universal Monster uh, Dracula Don, with his like staff. I'm so happy to have this. He actually glows in the dark, too. The white parts do. I, I love that figure. I definitely need to get more. I have this uh, weapon right here. But I don't even know what it's to. Um, yeah. Mine the dirty hands, too. I need to cut my nails, but I was also working a bunch today. So, uh, yeah, I haven't had a chance yet to wash my hands. I, I've washed my hands throughout the day, but, like, since I got home... I just want to show you guys this turtle stuff, get it boxed up and get everything good. Just so I have a bunch of shit like off the floor. Um, next up, I got this um, dinosaur. This is part of like the caveman turtle line. Pretty cool. It's got TMNT on its leg. Very awesome. Happy to have that. This one I'm extremely excited to have. I have the 5 inch... Uh, Krang android body with Krang inside. And this is very awesome. I mean, obviously you could open up the little thing. You could take, you know, Krang out. Pretty cool. And then you just put him back in. 
I love this figure. And the cool thing is, too, I actually have him complete. I got the little Krang chair. Which is pretty neat. Um, I got the little, like, arm cannon type, like, gun. Pretty cool. I got that little Jaws thing that goes on the Android body's, um, hand. Little focus. Either way, yeah, you guys know probably what it looks like. And then I got this little, like, transmitter thing that goes on his arm. Very, very cool. And then to get into the uh, Samurai Turtles I got, I got Raphael. With one of his weapons. Very cool. And then more of his weapons, his knife, and his sigh. My fucking hair out of it. Fuck. There we go. Pretty cool. Then I got Mikey. Very awesome. Leonardo. Very cool. And his thing like has a little like thing and it sort of rattles. And then Donatello. Very awesome. Okay, so up next I have Toon Turtles. I have Mikey, which is cool. He's like his tongue sticks out. He's got this little like wheel in the back. So that's very cool. Then I have Leonardo, which does the best uh, facial feature thing, in my opinion. He's got a little thing right here. And his eyes pop out. Oh, oh. I love it. <laughs> really cool. Then I got a couple of neutrinos, which is very cool. And then I got another neutrino. Pretty cool. I think that's Dask. And then some wacky turtles. Uh, I got Leonardo with his weapons. Not all his weapons, but some of them. And. I had like a malice for him. And then I got Donnie, which I guess this one you'd like have swimming. He's got a little thing right here, and his like legs move, so you could, like play with him in the water. Very cool. I got Michelangelo, and like his arm like moves or twists or something like for his uh. Nunchuck. Try to fix this a little. And then I got Raphael. And then I, I got some miscellaneous ones like this Raphael with the like uh, telescope, periscope, whatever you call it. And along with Leonardo. Same kind of thing. And then I got two auto mutations. You guys saw this recently. This is the splinter one. Pretty cool. And I also have the um, rock study one. He's got his little like lunch bag and his thermos, his lunch box thing. And he also has some rotomutagen, which is pretty cool. The ooze or something, whatever. And then at last for my loose turtle figures, I have this like bigger like mini turtle thing where you open it up and it's like a whole little like setup and everything. Very, very cool. And yeah, that's all of my loose turtle stuff. Sorry about the camera moving, my tripod's all messed up, I gotta figure it out. But yeah, that's all the loose ones. Okay, so if you hear screaming in the background, it's uh 
Garbage Pail Kids, the cartoon, but I just got threatened outside. Um, so Dave came by uh, after work and he noticed that there was like a car outside that was like parked over where it shouldn't have been near this doctor's office uh, outside where I live. And it was like smashed up the whole front and all that. So I let um, the guy that runs the plaza, my sister's fiance, know that, you know, there's a car out there that's all smashed up. I was just outside smoking a cigarette and I heard some dude yelling. And this is the second time this month. And I guess I, I went down to see what was going on because I'm like, what the hell? Why is there someone yelling out there? And I go up and there's a dude yelling, saying that, you know, I called the police on him because his car was smashed up. That, like, I, you know, was out there, like, you know, trying to start problems or something like that. And I'm like, no, I'm... I'm just wondering why you left, like, a car here that was smashed. And he started threatening me. He started, like, saying that, you know, he's going to come back for me and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong, you know? I literally was just out here. And, yeah, you know, so the cops came and they talked to him. They towed his uh, car. And he said he was coming back for me. So I'm, like, all sketched out right now. and like, nervous. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Second time this fucking month. I'll let you guys know if anything else crazy happens. I couldn't film anything out there. There was police and stuff. So I, I kind of figured it might have been illegal to, like, try to film something. You know, I, I just didn't want to, like, you know, risk it. But what the fuck, man? Why is this, why is this going to happen to me? And it is what it is. I'll be talking to you guys. I'll let you guys know if, if anything happens. Okay, so I finished bagging up all of the loose TMNT toys that I have. I have this box full. You can see uh, Ace Duck right there. Still got to put this big guy in a bigger Ziploc bag, like a gallon one. But all my other ones are bagged up and ready to uh, be put in another box into the closet. Now I'm just taking the DVDs, sizing it up, and putting all the shelves back the way they should to fit all DVDs like it is over there. Because I know I need more space for movies. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so in the process of moving all of the movies around over there, I still got a bunch. I got to uh, integrate into the collection, but it's starting up there, and I just got to start filling in the gaps over here. It's going to go all the way up to there. There's stuff I need to put in. So I got a lot ahead of me. I'll show you guys when I'm done. I know you can't really see. But like that little white thing. Is Morky. And she's breathing very shallow. <clears throat> so. I'm keeping an eye on her. I mean she has her ups and downs. And I'm happy she's doing what she's doing now. I mean I didn't think she was going to make it through the uh through the weekend but I mean she's doing what she can do and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated this is the first time that I beat Outrun in like it's got to be more than 15 years for sure it's amazing so happy I bought this game very fun and I'm gonna do it again okay everyone so it's that time again where I close up the video for the night um, yeah, nothing really crazy happened today. That's why I wanted to show you guys some turtle stuff. I'm still working on the collection. I'll be working on it tomorrow, too. And, yeah, um, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know anything you want to talk about. I'll talk to you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's always appreciated. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. What's going on, everyone? Movie Game Guy here. I'm back with another vlog for you guys. And today, so far... Um, just organizing the collection and putting all the stuff that I got recently into the collection, which is taking a little bit, but <coughs> yeah, basically it for right now. Dave's coming over on his lunch break. Um, I don't know if he wants me to say anything, so I'm probably not going to, but today's a very sad day for him. Um, and that's basically all I'm going to say. I'll ask him when he gets here if he wants me to uh, mention it to you guys, but he probably won't. But yeah, um, yeah. So I guess, yeah, I'll just let you guys know what happens as it happens. 
Okay, so I'm just finished with the G's. Now going F's all the way to uh, numbers. And you might be able to see like random uh, movies like all around over there, over there, and like over here and stuff. These are all the ones that I need to put in to the collection. And that's what I'm doing. It's, it's definitely a big process. When you have a collection like I got, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty nuts. But it's coming along really good, so I'm happy about that. I got this shelf already full. And then working on that shelf, but I got a bunch more shelves down here to uh, fill up. So I think because over here, um, the non horror stuff, there's a ton, and like it's literally full too. I'm gonna uh, move the TV shows down to this bottom shelf. It'll probably take up the first, like, well, the bottom three shelves. So that's fine. And I still have one, two, three, like basically four rows, which. It'll take a little bit to fill up, but actually it doesn't take too long to fill up when, you know, I, you know, people hooking me up to stuff or I find things for good deals, but yeah. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I was doing. <laughs> just finished the G's now going to the F's and up. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay. So hanging out with Dave right now, he just got out of work. We're going to his place and then figure out what's going on from there. Um, slowly but surely I'm taking down the turtle, uh, vehicles and all that stuff up there to put in a box that's over there to go in my closet for now, because that's going to be all different. I'm going to put like, you know, my box systems and stuff that I have, um, up on this shelf. So it looks real nice. I got a bunch of posters that are up there that I'm going to have on the wall right over here where these turtles are. And yeah, it'll look a lot better over here. I have a lot plan for this shelf and then this stuff is gonna get moved away and yes collections looking beautiful still gotta put the new stuff gotta integrate it into the collection but i'll do that later on and yeah heading to dave's now and i'll let you guys know as things happen so i'm at dave's right now looking at his games and he's got four that i still need surprisingly i haven't found gyrus hubert conflict or rampart out in the wild yet and he's not going to let off these. I know he loves them, so I'm not even going to bug him about it. But that's awesome. He's got a autograph book right here that I was looking at. Goosebumps and then some more Goosebumps books I was looking at. Cool stuff. This one's got, like, uh, cards in it still, which is pretty damn cool. Okay, everyone. So I'm just chilling at Dave's. Um, we're about to head out though in a little bit. I gotta go meet up with this guy and see if Dave can work out some kind of deal for books or something, but yep, besides that, nothing much else going on. Take a look at Dave's NES collection. He's also got another like row like this in the back and then he's got his Mega Man's and the yellow label Metroid down there. Some cool stuff for sure. Maybe one day I'll go through and I'll show you guys all of Dave's NES game, she's got a lot of cool stuff. But for now, uh, nothing else is really going on. I'll let you guys know as things happen. Okay, everybody, so it's that time again where I close off the video for the night. Um, yeah, my phone died halfway through the day, and I didn't have a charger. I asked my buddy Dave if he had a charger, and he said, he's an iPhone guy. And everybody else I, like, was hanging out with, they're all iPhone people. I guess I'm the only Android person around, which sucks, but it is what it is. It's just so if you guys are wondering why this video like abruptly ended after I was like, me and Dave are going to do a couple things, it's because my phone died. But sorry about that, guys. I'll try not to do that ever again. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll leave a thumbs down if you don't like this video because this one's not that great. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about anything at all. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's always appreciated. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.